What happened to David Arnold, your husband? Why do you um, feel he, yeah. Why do you feel he is not even feel that you know for sure? Uh, because David had a clean life. David exercised, David ate well. Um, and with all the things that are happening in the world, I know you you know, want to talk about some things which are important to all of us um, um, to know. So I'd just like to hear your story on, on why do you know and, and feel like David has left us? Well, uh, just to echo everything you said, you know, David had been sober for 25 years. I've never seen him drink. I've never seen him smoke. He did enjoy a cigar from time to time, but he never had any of those vices. Um, he always worked out. He would brag about his triglycerides and his cholesterol level. And all of that is true. He was, when we did a private autopsy and the results we got back is that everything he said he was, he was. His uh, toxicology report was squeaky clean because he hadn't drank or smoked for over 25 years. Um, he was the picture of health. He was at the top of his game. He worked out. He ate well. So what happened, uh, what they did find, the only irregularity in through his whole body was that his heart was enlarged and it had thickened walls. And the significance of it, him having thickened walls is that it means it was something probably genetic. And this is based off of the cardiologist that I spoke to. If he just had an enlarged heart, then that could mean he may have had a virus or he took some kind of medication or some kind of vac vaccine that could have led to this. But because of the thickened walls, it is something that he had genetically that we did not know about. And the reason why it take, has taken me so long to discuss this is because, because it's something genetic, I wanted to make sure that the girls were cleared and that our daughters were okay. So. Uh, we went to a pediatric cardiologist and got a panel of tests done on the girls. And fortunately, truly blessed, the girls are fine, but because it is something genetic, we do have to test them every year. But oh. uh, they believe that David had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, uh, which is pretty much you hear about the athletes who are at the top of their game in the best shape and then they drop dead. It's that same thing. It's called the like a hidden killer, unfortunately. And we believe that that what led to Davis' demise. Is there so, some... Go ahead. Sorry, Kim. Um, you know, not knowing this, Julie, is there something that you would tell other people that when we go to the doctor, you know, to ask the doctor to look at certain things or is it only genetic? So we don't have you know, to be concerned. You know, Sherry, that's so tough because David would see his doctor, obviously he was very healthy. So he was in constant contact he was working out, but they would have never went um, looked for this or given him an echo because he was so healthy. Uh, unless you genetically know that this runs in your family, you don't know to look for it. Only thing I can suggest is that every few years or when you do get your physical, you know, ask, say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a echo just to check to make sure everything's in rhythmic formal to see if my heart has enlarged within the past 12 months. It's really tough. Um, the only, like the solace that I have is the fact that normally we have this condition. The first symptom is you passing out, which is horrible. So it's always almost like it's too late, but I do find comfort in the fact that David fainted, passed out first before he felt any pain. Um, and that gives me a little comfort. Wow. Okay. Um, so, well, that, that is important uh, because I know there, you know, people always speculate people where David was so loved um, and people were asking, um, 
all, you know, people want to know. I, I'm be honest with you. I, I love David too. And, you know, I've, I've walked as well. I had did not realize how loved David A. Arnold was. I, I, I was blown away at the outpouring of support and the people that showed up at the celebration. Were you shocked by that? I was not, I was su surprised. I'm still surprised by how many people are still reaching out, sending me messages, just touching base saying, just thinking of you. I have, and the support, not only from the fans, the fans has been so exceptional. I have been so touched and moved by it. it you can't, and, and the girls too. That's part of our healing and recovering is through the love that we've gotten, but not only through our fans, but it's a testimony of Dave, how many people love David, even professionally and personally, because Nickelodeon, our family at Nickelodeon, Will Packer, uh, Three Arts Entertainment, they have heartbeat, has, they have been so loving and supportive. And normally when you hear big names like that, you think, oh, financially they're help. It's really not that. It's really, I got you. And when you call me in two months, I'm still gonna be here. That kind of support. Right, that's, right. that's what I need is the fact that when I call next July, when I reach out, you know, yeah. they'll still be there or they'll beat me to it because they've just called me and just said, I'm checking in on you, sister. So that's, that means so much. That is a testament to who you are, who, who David was. And I guess that's the question. What's next? What is next for Julie Arnold, uh, the family? What, what is, your, what's your next move? Uh, <laughs> want to go back to being a rocket, Julie? <laughs> Not going to be joining you in New York anytime soon, but I will say <laughs> this, my um, mental health, making sure that I'm on point and that the girls are on, um, on point mentally, because mm -hmm. this is traumatic. Um, it's, it's hard. I know you guys know, because I'm mm -hmm. not only mourning, you guys are grieving with me. So I know, you know, um, but I've been really, really blessed. I'm over here now at uh, Nickelodeon working on the show that David and I created called That Girl Lele. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.